Okay, sorry. Uh, my I record off of YouTube, so it only gives me 15 minutes, and obviously that wasn't enough time for this video. So I hope it cut off at a good moment. I was just showing. I was in the middle of showing you the Alva diaper, which I had to add the snaps to. But again, if it wasn't for having the wing drippage and having to add the snaps, this would absolutely be a 10. Like one out of, it would be a 10 from one out of a 10. I really like, I've been really happy with the diaper. Oh, also with this diaper, um, it didn't say when um, I got it how to wash it. So um, I tested it out and I figured it was $4 for the diaper. So if I ruined it on accident, at least I would know. But I dry um, all, I, I wash all of these on normal, like how you'd normally wash a cloth diaper. And then I just toss them all in the dryer on like a low heat. Um, and our dryer dries really fast on a low heat. So, and like our dryer's low heat's probably more like a medium heat. So, um, so I don't hang dry any of this. I dry all of it um, and I don't have an issue. So let's see, so the next diaper, this is an interesting diaper, um, this is also a China diaper that I got, which is a really popular one, which is why I had to try it. These ones are called Babyland, and they have a little Babyland tag on them. And I can see these diapers being really awesome for little babies. Um, right now I have on the medium size, because that's what my son is, but it gets you know, I'm not going to undo it, but it gets like that much smaller. So it gets really tiny. And I was impressed with this diaper because it's really tiny. I mean, this would definitely fit like a little baby's waist. It overlaps on the tabs here. So it goes really little on the tabs. Um, and then it gets big. So like my son... He usually wears his about like this. He's he's like that. Like this is his size. Oh, sorry. I missed one. Okay. So this is his size. And he is 19 months and weighs 21 pounds probably. Like 20 pounds. 21 pounds maybe. Um, so I really like the diaper. Um, this one, I don't like the materials of the inside, so this diaper has a different material. It's, it's still soft, but it, like up here where you put the insert in, it has like a flap, right? And it's really loose, like you can see, it's all like sticking out, and, um, what is this one? Okay. So it's all like sticking out, and so it's kind of bunchy so when I stick it on his bum it gets bunchy right there um and the insert is the same as the other insert very absorbent he's also worn this overnight and um, never had a leak out of it I would say when he is like before he's potty trained when he's like two you know if he well I don't know I can't say that for my own son because he's pretty little and um, fairly thin, but let's say this was a pretty chunky baby. The elastic is really tight on these. Like they're not very loose. So when you, like, let me just show you on his size. That's all you have. And so I can see that hurting a baby's leg because it really, it's, I don't really like that on it. It works fine for my son because he has really little legs. But um, if he's not potty trained by the time he's two and a half, I can see that this diaper being an issue because it is much too small of an yeah. opening. So um, this diaper, um, I dry. I also dry. Never hang dry these. I also dry them on the same. The pole is very thick. There's, it's not see-through or anything. Um, it's been really durable, and again, he's never peed out of these. So I really like this diaper, but because of the elastic, how tight it is, and um, the material that is on the inside, 
I'd probably give this diaper a six. Um, I pro I probably would de recommend this diaper more for a little baby that is not chunky. Um, so like this would probably fit well on a seven or eight pound baby. Um, because it is much smaller. Like just to give you a size comparison, this is the Alva baby diaper that I love, and this is the baby lamb diaper so I don't know if you can see that but there is size difference definitely so that looks that one and then so okay actually I was gonna say on the diaper too because I was saying how I had to add the snaps on the sides of the other diapers this one I don't because since it has these overlapping right here it has an extra snap so that was kind of cool. I didn't have to add a snap to that one. Um, whoops, you want to get down? You want to go see what this is doing? <laughs> he wants to look. Okay. So the next diaper is this diaper. And when I bought this diaper, it said it um, was an alpha baby diaper, which is the first diaper I showed you. This came to me unmarked. It does not have a tag on it anywhere. So I don't know if it's an Alva diaper or not. It was quite different. Um, the tabs here, let me show you, are square, like square on the end. And the Alva baby diapers are not square. They're rounded. Um, this to me on the inside looks a lot like the Babyland diaper. It had um, sort of the same material and this weird baggy opening. Um, it was kind of weird. But I really like this. I didn't have to add the snap to this diaper like I did, um, excuse me, with the Alva diaper. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I didn't have to add the snap to it like I did. And the elastic is good. It's not bad like the Babyland diaper. I mean, it also has the adjustable snaps. Um, like, honestly, this diaper has been really good. I really like it. The pull on the inside is is thick. Definitely waterproof. He's worn this one to bed, and he has not leaked through it. Um, for the fact that this diaper, I don't have to add the snap to it. Um, and it's really cute. I really like the print. The outside of this is like a minky fabric. It's really soft. Like, you probably can't even see that, but it's really soft. I really like it. And he really likes this diaper. Like, he'll, if I ask him to pick a diaper, he'll pick this one. Or, like, we have a cow print one just like it and um, a couple other prints. And he'll pick these soft ones. They're really soft on the inside, too. So, um, so this diaper will probably get a 7 for me because I don't like this big wide opening because it, it does, it's a little baggy. Um, and... I don't have to add a snap to this, but if he's really hardcore running around, sometimes I do have a little bit of wing drippage, so I could add a snap on this, but just because I mostly don't, like, don't really have to, I'm not going to. So this would be like a seven to me diaper. So the latest diaper that I got, um, and this is kind of funny because all the diapers on eBay will say, a, most of them say a brand like Alpha Baby. Babyland, um, I can't even think of the other ones. So there's several different ones. There's like iQD, Baby, like a bunch of different ones. They're all essentially the same diaper. Um, but one thing I noticed is that um, this Babyland diaper, the screen one where it has the Babyland tag. Okay. I got another Babyland diaper that was completely different than this Babyland diaper. Um, and I recently got this one. And it says Babyland, and I um, have used this a couple of times, and I have a few issues with it. Well, the first thing I like is that it does have an overlap, an overlapping snap, which is nice. Now, this is a tiny, tiny diaper. If you get this on the smallest size, that's the smallest opening. Like, this seriously would fit a preemie baby. So that's cool because it's going to fit a little baby. Um, and then it gets really big, but 
this one, and I haven't added the snaps yet, but I definitely have to add the snaps because all of the diapers that you get on um, from China pretty much have only the two snaps that go across. There's no snap down here. So this part, when you snap it, you get like this stripping out. So I'm going to have to add a snap to this one just right here in the back just to keep it up, holding up. So that's not really a big deal. Um, this again has the weird wide opening. Don't know why. Um, which is why I love the Elva diaper because it was a nice closed tight opening. Um, this is really wide. This part where their middle of their crotch sits is really wide. Shiloh's big enough to not, it doesn't matter anymore, but like I can't see a newborn fitting in that. Like, Elva diaper and baby land diaper. There, it is definitely fatter. So, this diaper would be awesome on a chunky baby. No leaking again, dry wash in the dryer, perfect diaper. I really like it, the diaper. Um, probably a seven. Yeah. Now, this is an interesting diaper. Okay, this is the last diaper that I have. <clears throat> this is an Alva diaper. <clears throat> But it's way different. Again, you get you will like get a brand from eBay that say Alpha, but there'll be like five different <laughs> diapers. This one I want to find more of. I love this diaper. Okay, this diaper <clears throat> is adjustable. Same way. It's an all-in-one. <clears throat> this diaper has two, which I've never seen on an eBay diaper. Two snaps. Um, and this diaper has really quality snaps, um, <clears throat> so it snaps too, so there's no wing drippage at all. The legs are perfect, you know, right here. And then on the inside, which is so cool, um, it has double elastic. So this double elastic um, holds even more in, like, he, this is awesome, I, I don't know why, I just love it. Um, and the insert goes in here in the top really easily and nicely. And the other cool thing about this is it has an opening in the back for the insert and an opening in the front. Because this insert has, I don't have the insert with me. It's the same insert, but it has a snap right here. So the insert snaps on the inside. So this insert does not move at all when your baby pees or anything. This diaper is a huge 10. I, like 11. I love this diaper. So I plan to get more from these on eBay. Um, I, you just have to look. Like you have to scroll through and look at the picture of what it looks like. Because um, even though this says Alva and this orange one says Alva, they're completely different diapers. Like they're not even, they don't even seem like they're from the same brand. So... So those are my diapers. Um, overall, I would highly recommend anybody buying the diapers off of eBay. They save a lot of money. I have found them to be very, very similar, if not pretty much the exact same as like the Fuzzy Bun diapers, the Bum Genius regular ones, flips. Um, I really like them, and I like the fact that I don't have to sit and line dry all of them. They have worked really well on my super sensitive baby's bum. Like, he has a really sensitive skin. And so I've really liked them a lot. Uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend them. I spot, I have about 20 of the diapers, eBay diapers is what they're called because there's no, there's so many different brands. Um, I have about 20 of them, and I have spent less than $100 on 20 diapers, and that's including shipping. And the only inconvenience of it is that you wait between a week and three weeks to get your diapers, and sometimes you get them like one diaper one day and three diapers the next day. Um, but it's worth the wait. Um, I've really liked the diapers. I've had them for a couple of months now. And they've just worked great on them. So um, those are my favorite diapers. Alpha Baby is my favorite, even with having to add the snaps. So, um, yeah, no leaking, never a leakage. Better um, than a lot of the diapers you buy here in the U.S. So, so yeah, so I've been.